activity has become more important to me as I've grown older. I'm still relatively young, but I've definitely seen a shift in my own metabolism, um, especially after I turned 20. Um, and it also revolved around how busy I was. So I've learned that small things that you can do to help you stay physically active uh, really go a long way. Um, so things like going for a walk, doing more activities on date night that are active, like going bowling or playing putt-putt um, or to a driving range are really nice ideas. Um, I just want to always try to include physical activity in my everyday life to where it's not something I constantly have to think about doing. Um, and that's kind of something I hope to do as I look into starting a family. I definitely want, um, you know, to have a very um, fun family that's active and goes out and does things, doesn't just stay at home all the time. Um, so I'm starting to think of more ways that I can try to become active now so that it doesn't seem like a forced thing in the future. Balancing my time between uh, my professional life as a teacher and then my personal life has always been something I struggled with. I'm one of those people that always tries to stay busy, which can be an added stress in my life. Um, one that I kind of bring upon myself and I'm trying to work on it. Um, so coming to the gym has definitely helped with that. It just relieves a lot of my stress while also giving me my own me time. Um, the only issue with that is my husband doesn't come to the gym and it'd really be nice if he could because then we could also spend that time together. So it's really hard. I feel like I've always got a, um, different balls that I'm trying to juggle between professional life, personal life, and then my own individual needs as a human. Um, it's really tempting to want to go home and take a nap every day at 4.30 when I'm done at work, but then nothing would get done. And teachers have to use a lot of their weeknights and weekends to get work done because even though you work all day, you only get 40 minutes during the day to get stuff ready for the next day. So it's really stressful and there's always something to do. Um, but I definitely am seeking to find a better balance. And then it was even harder these last two years for me because I was going to night class um, for another degree. Um, so things got in the way of working out. I felt like there was always an excuse for me to not come here. Um, and then, you know, I really had to seek out additional motivation from um, the support group here, encouraging me to come. You know, I would text somebody and say, what kind of workout is it tonight? And they'd say, it doesn't matter, just be here. We'd love for you to be here. And so then they'd know I wasn't going to come, so then I had to come. Um, I definitely am trying to hold myself more accountable with my balance. Um, I've been posting more that I'm going to be here so then people know um, that I feel like I can't not show up. But it's still a struggle. As summer hits, I'm sure it's going to be even more of a struggle with um, going out of town and things like that. But I think I'm improving with my balance. A typical day for me would actually be easier to describe with a typical week. On Sundays, I try to go to the grocery store on Sundays um, so that I can use Sunday night to get all of my lunches ready for school. Um, and I've got like containers because I'm really weird about my food touching. And so like I've got like a protein compartment and then like a fruit veggie compartment and then like a carb compartment. And so I try to assemble those every Sunday and I find that I'm more successful with keeping um, a nutritional balance that way. It doesn't happen every week, but I try. And then a typical day, I usually wake up, get ready for school. I've got it down to a 30 minute routine. Um, and then I head off. I'm gone for school for seven and a half hours. And then I usually stay after school to provide extra help for my students or make copies or lessons or answer keys until about 4.30. And then I usually um, will either go tutor or um, run back, run a few errands that I might need. And then I try to make it to the gym at 5.30 to 6.30. That's kind of like my time. Um, sometimes I don't always make it to the 6.30 or to the 5.30 and I have to bump it back to 6.30. Um, but on Sundays, not only do I try to plan my meals, I try to plan what days I'm going to be able to make it to the gym based off if I've got night class on Tuesday, I can't go, so I know I need to go on Wednesday. Um, or if I've got another event for school on Friday, then I know I need to go Friday in the morning. Um, so on my calendar on my wall, it's got all the days where I go to the gym, 
And then I try to hold myself accountable and put a little star on the days that I actually do go to the gym. So it's kind of nice when I get an extra star on a day where I wasn't planning on getting a star. But in order to do that, I have to have an extra set of gym clothes in my car at all times. I call it my emergency workout outfit. It's one of my few outfits that don't match. Um, but it's there at all times. And that's how I try to fit it in. And I usually get home from the gym. And then I stay in my sweaty clothes for a while and cook dinner with my husband. That's kind of our time to talk about our day. Um, it's just kind of relaxing to do that together. And then we sit at the table, eat dinner. Then I take a shower. And then if there's still school stuff, I have to do like grading, then I have to grade. And then I go to bed, usually around 10, and then wake up at six and repeat. Well, that's really nice to hear. Thank you. Um, it's kind of hard to say where I get my attitude from. I just always try to be as kind to everybody as I can. Um, and I know that for some people, coming to the gym can be like an experience that they try to avoid or they kind of drag it out. Or it's really easy to want to look at the clock and say, okay, there's 20 more minutes left. How am I going to make this go by? So I just try to come to every class energized and ready to go. Um, it helps time go by faster. Um, but also, I just like to tell people they're doing a good job. Maybe it's the teacher in me. Um, but I don't know, my parents have always instilled a hard work ethic um, and kindness into everything that my brother and I do. So I'd say it came from them.